Hey folks, uh, this lesson is our parabolas. It's our third lesson on module 12.2, uh, uh, so Integrated Math 2 link. So don't forget all your awesome lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. So what characteristics does a parabola have with vertex HK? So we did this in the last uh, lesson. So um, uh, our vertical parabolas are when x is being squared. Our horizontals are when y is being squared. Okay, h always hangs out with x and k always hangs out with y. So here's k with y, here's h with x. h, k is in alphabetical order, so is x, y. And so if p is positive, that tells me that it opens up or to the right, and when it's negative, it goes down or to the left. Okay, and then so P is your always your distance from uh, the focus to the vertex or the vertex to the directrix. So uh, your focus, that we're going to label it as F, and V is vertex, and, and D is directrix right there. And so your vertex is always in the middle, and the parabola always surrounds the focus. It always protects it. All right, let's try some of these. Write an equation in standard form. Okay, I tell my students, so you need to graph these. I won't help you unless you graph these. So graph 0, 0, and this vertical line, x equals 5, okay? So let's do that. So there it is right there, okay? So the vertex is always in the middle, so your focus is over there. Now, you don't need to do that. You just need to know that the focus is over there, and then the parabola goes to the left, okay? And so if it goes to the left, P is negative. That's P right there. So so P is negative 5 right there, okay? And then so when it opens to the left or to the right, then Y is being squared. So Y minus K squared equals 4P times X minus H, okay? Here is H, K. Here is P. So substituting all of that in, we get that, and simplify, we get that, okay? Let's try another. So let's uh, graph these guys. I won't help you unless you graph these. If you're my student, so graph 0, negative 1. So these are going by 2, so right there. And then the directrix is y equals negative 5. Horizontal line down here, y equals negative 5. Now, I kind of forget sometimes, you guys. So when you forget if it's a horizontal or vertical, that's a honest mistake, you guys. Just get the hang of uh, try to try to help yourself and and memorize that uh, uh, y equals a number is a horizontal and x equals is vertical. Okay. All right. The vertex is always in the middle. So here's the vertex at zero, negative three, because that's four. The distance is four. Okay. So here's the vertex. So if the vertex is there and the parabola goes around the focus, it's going up. So that means x is being squared. Okay. So there's it's opening up. How wide up? We don't need to know on this part right here. We just need to know it's opening up. So if it's opening up, P is positive, okay? And this is P, the distance right there. So there's P is 2. There's H, K. So let's go ahead and substitute everything in, and we get that. Okay, let's try that with this one here. So the vertex is at 6, 4. To the right, 6, up 4. To the left, 6, up four. So the vertex is here and the focus is there. Let's graph them. You gotta graph them, you guys. Okay, so here's the vertex. The vertex is in the middle, so the directrix is over here somewhere. That just helps me see it's opening to the left. When it opens to the left, y is being squared. So y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h. Okay, so uh, here is h comma k and p is negative 8, so substituting all of that in, we get that, okay? All right, let's graph some of these So and then state all the parts about it. Okay, so this is almost in the form. We want it to get be x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Okay, so what we're going to first do is multiply both sides by negative 2 to get rid of that negative 1 half, because we want the negative 2 over here to get our 4p stuff right there, okay? So, uh, oops, I did the vertex first. The vertex is uh, h, h hangs out with x, and k hangs out with y, so opposite, opposite. Uh, positive 3, negative 2, so there it is. This is going by 2's, this graph, so there's 2, there's 4, so there's 3 down 2. Okay, and since uh, uh, x is being squared, let's get it in our form right there. Okay, so we need to get it in that form right there. So multiply by negative 2, and then we're going to flip it around. I'm going to put the x squared over here and the y plus 2 over there. But it's going to be negative 2 times y plus 2. And when you flip it around the equal sign, it's called the, the symmetric property. 
Symmetric property. You don't need to know that right now, but you do later. Okay, symmetric property. All right, there's 4p right there. So what we set 4p equal to negative 2 divided by 4. Negative 2 divided by 4 is negative 1 half. So p is negative 1 half. Since x is being squared and that's negative, it's going down. So the focus is right down here. Okay, so it's over 3 down 2. So go down another half. It's going to be down 2 and a half. So the focus is at negative 2 and a half. There it is. I had to make it a little bit smaller in red. Okay, and the directrix is up, um, up a half. So the directrix is, it's at negative 2. So go up, it's going to be at negative 1 and a half. Okay. All right, so we need to know it's going down. So let, I'm going to go back up to this equation right here because this tells me how much it's going down. It's going down a half of 1 squared, a half of 2 squared, a half of 3 squared as we go over 1, 2, 3. So let's go over 1. Over 1, 1 squared from the vertex, you guys. So over 1 is right there, down 1 half of 1 squared. It's always this number times how much we go down squared. So we went over 1, so we square it and then take a half of that. That's how much we go down. So we go down a half, okay? Now, since these are going by by 2s, I went down, a, you know, a half a square on this is 1. So I went down a half of a half, which is a fourth. So over 1, it went down a half, which is a fourth of the square. All right, let's go over 2. Go over 1, 2, okay? So when we go over 2, 2 squared is 4. Half of that is 4, so I'm going to go down 4, which is 2 squares right there, okay? And then, uh, oops, I went over another one. I was doing this lesson earlier. Uh, so I went over 3. So here is a 1, 2, 3. 3 squared is 9. And then uh, half of 9 is 4 and a half. So that took me down to, come on there, right down there. Okay, so I went down four and a half. Okay, and then I went over four. So here's uh, here's two, here's four. Remember the squares are going by a half. So I'm sorry, the squares going by two. So each one is a half a square. Hope I'm making sense. So I went over. Here's two. Here's four. Four squared is uh, sixteen. Half of that is eight. So we went down eight. Okay. So it's at negative two. So on this graph, it takes us down to negative 10 right there. Okay, so graph that guy. We're missing one more piece, the axis of symmetry. So where can we fold this line in half or fold this parabola in half so this side folds on this side? This vertical line, vertical lines are x equals, so it always goes through your axis of symmetry, always goes through the vertex, so x equals 3. All right, let's try one more and we'll I'll stop. Okay, so here x minus 2 equals negative y plus 1 squared. Okay, so we want to get it in the form of well, y minus k squared equals um, uh, 4p times x minus h squared. Okay, so the 4p we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So we'll put the negative 1 on that side over there, and then we just flipped them around using the symmetric property again. Okay, so there's 4p right there. 4p equals negative 1, so p equals uh, negative 1 fourth right there. Okay, all right, so the vertex is at h comma k. Your h is always with x, and your k is always with y. So... So opposite, opposite, so the vertex is at uh, positive 2, negative 1 right there, and your p is negative 1, okay? This graph is going by 1s, okay? So here's 1, here's 2, 3, 4, so we're going to go down. So the vertex is uh, over 2, down 1, and then since y is being squared, uh, it's going to the left because it's negative, so... Here, here's the, the focus right there. So it's uh, going to be at uh, 1 and, and uh, 3 fourths, uh, comma, uh, negative 1 right there. Okay, so there's the focus right there. Okay, and then uh, the directrix is uh, over here, 1 fourth. So that's over at 2. So add a fourth. So you get the directrix is at 2 and a fourth. Depends on what kind of mood you're in. If you want to make that a improper fraction, this would be 9 fourths and this would be 7 fourths comma negative 1. Okay. Anyways, all right. So we're going to use uh, this graph. This will tell me how much it goes to the left. So it goes to the left uh, negative 1. 
negative 1 times 1 squared, negative 1 times 2 squared. So when we go up 1, 1 squared, and then times 1, it's always times that much, 1 squared. So we got to square it first and then multiply. Well, that's 1. That's easy. So up 1 to the left 1, down 1 to the left 1. Up 2, 1, 2. 2 squared is 4. So we're going to go to the left 4, okay? When we go up 1 and down 1. Let's do one more. I'm going to go off the chart a little bit, so it's going to be over here. So we'll go up 3, 1, 2, 3. 3 squared is 9, okay? So there's 7, so we'll go 8-ish, 9-ish right there, and then down also, okay? There's our parabola right there. Don't forget your axis of symmetry right there. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, you're going to be given another worksheet. It's, um, it comes along with our textbook here, so let's practice worksheet uh, C, something like that, numbers 1 through 8. There's 1 through 6, and there's 7 and 8 right there. Okay, you guys, take care.